Hey Slayers, and welcome to a different type of video today. So I was looking at YouTube and I saw this video about fast food tier list and I thought to myself, what an easy video to make. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be ranking all the Sega consoles. So you can see we have from the SG-1000 all the way to the Dreamcast. We're going to be ranking them all. We're going to be seeing where they stack up on the tier list. And basically... I get to make an easy video so yeah this video is probably not gonna be too too long I'm gonna go over why I think each console deserves where it deserves to be and we're gonna start off with the good old SG-1000 now the SG-1000 was released in 85 I'm pretty sure 85 it was released on the exact same day as Nintendo's Famicom in Japan but the problem with the SG-1000 is First off, it didn't have a long life. It it it, it did. It, it, it was released in places like New Zealand and all that, but didn't touch America. Didn't touch the U.S. or Europe or really anywhere out of Asia. It was released in small parts in Asia and did moderately well. It's basically and the problem was for the time the tech was behind. It was basically it was literally just a ColecoVision with a Sega shell on it. The games at the time weren't impressive. They were okay. They were you know sega's earlier arcade games but the console as a whole really didn't do that good and while i personally think it's interesting it really doesn't rank that high on the tier list so i'm gonna go ahead and say that i think the sg1000 is e tier but if you if you disagree let me know down in the comments why you disagree disagree so we're moving on to the master system and if you know the master system man the master system oh my god it was it was more powerful than the nes it was a beautiful sleek nice design also it's known as the mark three in japan a beautiful nice nice design just like all out great G the games for the system were awesome they came in multiple varieties there was the cheap cards there was the cartridges there was uh they had 3d glasses um what was it they had it had a lot of accessories a light phaser not that's a nintendo thing isn't it i forgot you know the light gun it had a light gun it had a lot of great it, 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 it had a long life it has a lot of great ports and stuff Granted, it did better in Europe than it did here in the USA, and it did, and even in Asia, it kind of got destroyed, but it had things like FM sound, and I really think the Master System was just, oh my god, it was just such a great system. The Master System is an automatic A tier for me. Sega did almost everything right, in my opinion, although it didn't do that well, it still it is still a great console and it's definitely worth a play if you have never played the master system definitely pick one up definitely try it out and so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the genesis now you know the genesis the genesis is a uh, all-out beast it's 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 an all-out beast like you you gotta play the genesis like if you've never played sega genesis it's sega's best selling console it's where they did the best at here in north america again in asia it didn't do too too well but there was a bunch of games leading the 16-bit revolution we got sonic the hedgehog rise star and a lot of the classic characters that when sega is known for today it did arcade ports pretty well genesis again automatic a tier now we're moving on to some uncharted territory here because we're going to be moving on to the sega game gear next so the game gear tried to compete with the game boy and it didn't really it didn't do too 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 well it did well like it sold like what 30 million units no i don't think 30 million something like that but even then it's nothing compared to the monster that was the game boy over a hundred million units sold granted granted that is combined with the game boy color and not the game boy Advance, but it is combined with the game boy color game boy light game boy pocket and all those other variants of the game boy that's all their sales combined but still even just for the original game boy this the the game gear really couldn't touch it the game gear had abysmal battery life like honestly it could through six double a batteries and it leaked like in an hour so it really was not worth the time granted it did have a color screen a backlit color display it got a lot of master system ports since it was basically a master system the master system converter came out for it that allowed you to play sega master system games on your game gear so 
I'm gonna go ahead and, and for the game gear, I'm gonna go ahead and think um for that battery life and just really not doing that well, we're gonna give it a D tier. I'm sorry, I love the Game Gear. It's one of my favorite consoles, but it really doesn't deserve higher than D tier, like honestly. Now the Sega Pico, <laughs> the Sega Pico, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Sega Pico. Now the Sega Pico is Sega's edutainment genesis, basically. The console is basically a Sega Genesis and I, it's beloved in my heart just because of how mysterious and like, unknown it is a lot of people don't know about it and a lot of people really don't care about it and it's just it's just kind of there like i like the pico but it really at the end of the day it's kind of just an edutainment software device now don't get this granted any don't get this wrong or anything but pico is really since it, the market really isn't that big it did well of course but there's really not a lot of games most people will want to play besides edutainment device so we're gonna go ahead and give the pico a hmm. Pico's about a D, uh, B tier. Like, I'm sorry, it's a B tier player. No, actually, no, we're actually gonna change that. The Pico is really not even a D tier, it's a C tier. I'm sorry, but the Pico's a C tier. Uh, now we move on to the, the mo my most, like, hard, the hardest one I knew I was gonna have to do, and I really didn't wanna do this one. Uh, the Sega Saturn, my favorite console of all time. My channel's theme is Saturn, blah, blah, blah. Now, I am gonna mention I would be, I'm trying my hardest not to be biased here because for me, the Saturn's gonna be an automatic A tier. But at the end of the day, the Saturn was an expensive piece of hardware that was not on par with the PlayStation. Well, it was on par with the PlayStation, in my opinion. It excelled at a lot of things better than the PlayStation, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, the PlayStation was a cheaper console. It was easier to make games for it. There's more software out there for the PlayStation than there is the Saturn. The Saturn had a whole bunch of plague problems and just a whole bunch of other things just kind of keeping it back and i'm just not really gonna say say too much about the saturn uh, as much as i hate to do this i really don't want to do this saturn's kind of an f tier like i understand i understand i love the saturn more than anything actually no no never mind the saturn's about a c tier too i love the saturn more than anything but the saturn at the end of the day will never be as fondly remembered as like the master system or genesis and i am also going to state i'm not really doing accessories like the 32x Sega cd as while they are kind of standalone consoles they need the genesis to operate so just if i had to rank each one sega cd would be a d tier sega 32x would be automatic f tier just because it really doesn't rank the set the 32x as a whole was just not really that good so if you were wondering my opinion 32x f tier 30 uh sega cd d tier now the sega dreamcast an automatic winner in my book an automatic winner in a lot of people's book it was ahead of its time it had a modem it had great games the graphics were awesome for the time the ad the, even the ads were good like the dreamcast ads were so good they're not the type of ads you would want to skip if you ever received the one today which you wouldn't do but like if you actually ever received one De oh, the dreamcast is just a great console it's a great buy if you ever want to play it. it had a lot of games it had the first 3d sonic game it had the second 3d sonic game there was there's new a whole bunch of new franchises were brought back new ones were birthed so i'm gonna go ahead and give the dreamcast definitely a b tier right away if that upset some of you i'm sorry the reason i really just don't think the dreamcast is an a tier is because it really just didn't sell that well like personally like i love the dreamcast the dreamcast to me almost every one of these consoles would be a tier but if we're actually ranking ranking these consoles they're definitely not a tier material in fact you know what just 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 for the just for the heck of it i am gonna rate the um sega cd and 32x give me a second i'll be right back
okay we're back now we're back now so so, so just for a couple little clarification I, I decided to add on the 32x automatically f tier for the reasons i explained before the sega cd is a definitely a d tier like it's a good console it's just like the sega cd was okay it wasn't that great i mean it was good but it did it enhanced a lot of the genesis games it just it, you know the story of the sega cd so next is sega's new arcade mini and since no one has tested it yet and no one has played it yet and i know it's a mini console but since they haven't it's not like a rehash of anything that's ever been made like you know the i didn't rate the genesis mini because it's the genesis mini so we're gonna rate this and right now i'm gonna go ahead and give it a b tier because it i'm in an a tier automatic a tier because it sounds awesome and we can't wait and just for the laughs just for the laughs we're gonna go ahead and rate the dreamcast too <laughs> i know it doesn't exist but we're just for the laughs we're gonna go ahead and rate it the dreamcast too you know since it was fake and I've and since it we don't know what the games would be since if it, it probably would never exist but if Sega ever made a new console I hope they don't do the sticks like this and since we don't really know too much about it we're automatically gonna give it an F tier just because we're well, not to assume it's bad or anything just because we don't know so that's really gonna do it for this video I hope you guys definitely enjoyed because I had fun making this how did it end up being 11 minutes long but that's really gonna do it for this video and until next time see you slayers